Well, all good things must come to an end. So this is me on the plane on Saturday morning, leaving Sydney, heading home. Uh, I had a really good time in Australia. I'm really looking forward to getting back there again soon. Um, 20 years since I was back there last is way too long. Anyway, we took the scenic route on the way out. So here you can see the um, city area there, downtown, and uh, the Harbour Bridge and beyond that, uh, the Sydney Opera House. So it was pretty nice to have that view. And um, the captain apparently requested it, but I think it was just filed and assigned. Uh, anyway, so I'm glad you uh, guys all enjoyed seeing a little bit of uh, what it's like in Australia. And, you know, I would have liked to have shown more, but, uh, you know, that's not the, what the purpose of this particular video is. Uh, anyway, so 23 something hours later, here it is um, landing down in Atlanta and uh, a little bit of a bumpy landing here. Um, I guess it was windy or whatever. And as I'm in the process of recording this video this evening, it's uh, snowing outside again. So, oh joy. Um, back in the cold and, uh, you know, at least we're heading into springtime. Um, anyway, time to get back to work and uh, get this um, prototype plane flying. So back in the shop, uh, Jeff's now sprayed primer on the first of the upper skins for the strake. So this is a mold uh, for that one. And as I said uh, in one of the previous videos, these ones should go pretty quick because they don't have the to deal with the wheel well. And uh, there's the other one as well. So that one's um, all prepped up. And you see you know, tape around the edge with the tacky tape um, underneath that all prepped for putting the bag on. So this one will get, uh, you know, couple of layers of uh, heavy and then core and then a couple more layers of heavy I think or maybe it's only one I can't remember uh, anyway uh, here's Zach busy finishing up these two um, plugs for the elevators and we've decided we're gonna actually pull two different molds off of the one lower plug um, because of the little access panel uh, doors in there, and then I'll show you a little bit more on that uh, in a minute yeah, something that might be interesting, uh, this is a little sample of this mesh that Jeff picked up recently at a trade show and it's to be embedded uh, in the wing skins for a lightning protection and we won't be using it on the prototype but it's something that we can um, do on future aircraft. And Devon and Jeff are underway with the first of these upper straight skin layups. So just got the first uh, layer of heavy down there. And I need to find out um, tomorrow and see what the layup schedule was. I didn't really look, but um, our heavy layer is equivalent to sort of three normal layers. So it saves us a lot of time not having to put down three layers and just putting down one. And I spent most of Monday catching up with paperwork and things like that from being away. But uh, now I'm working on uh, cutting out the, the uh, ribs out of MDF for the winglets and rudders. So there's... 22 all together so 11 per side and um, I've just basically got them all done today and so Zach's been already busy sanding on those and uh, they'll be next to sort of start making some molds off of those and here's that one uh, that uh, Devin and Jeff were working on so they've already got that bag so this is a two-step process again so um, the carbon down and then the core and then uh, bag that in order to get it uh, nice and neat and tidy and then come back and uh, tomorrow and they'll put down the um, the second layers and finish it out or the closing layers and finish it out and Zach did a super nice job finishing off these two um, with the uh, rubber profile around the edge so they're pretty much ready to be uh, have the molds laid up on that I'm not sure exactly when that's gonna be um, probably this sometime this week and you can see Zach's also masked off around those things so the four of those things are going to get sort of temporarily filled in and then the mold will be pulled and then the other four will get temporary filled in and then the opposite mold will be pulled one for left and one for right and these are the four ribs that kind of mate together when the wings are bolted on so two on the strakes and two on the wings and uh, they had to have a hard point put in there where the bolts go through and I guess um, that was overlooked when they were first laid up uh, so anyway not a big deal that's done and here's Zach standing on the first of these MDF ribs that have come off the machine so um, and again those will just be sort of glued down to a bit of um, melamine board and then um, rubber profile put around and then molds pulled from them. And still this is on Tuesday. Um, Jeff and Devin got on to the second of the upper strake skins. So here you can see just wetting down the first um, layer 
of carbon and again I'm still <laughs> not sure if there's two layers down there or maybe there's two there's probably two and um, as you can see Roberto showed up just to say hi um, and we're trying to talk him into coming back and doing some more work for us but he's so busy at his regular job he just doesn't have time um, anyway it was nice to see him and um, by the end of the day the guys uh, Jeff and Devin had got the uh, foam laid down on this one and uh, as I was walking out the door they had pretty much got it under the bag as well so that one will also be ready tomorrow to be uh, have the other side done anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and um, it's good to be back and thanks again for watching <laughs>